Hey beautiful, are you really six foot three? I am. Good. I've been looking for a guy to body slam me into the hood of my car, killing me instantly. When can you be here? Sounds super fun, obviously. Anytime. Uh, what you doing? Talking to thirsty dudes on Tinder. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Oh yeah? There's an endgame there? Yeah, just a little fun. No hard feelings, of course. Of course. I'll fuck you against a car for sure. And that's where we'll leave that one. Uh, hi, I'm sure you've seen my nice guys whisper video. Yeah, uh, that's what this is basically, but this time it's on Tinder. That's, that's the whole video, man. I have my profile he here. Uh, as you can see, her name is Jamie. She's 19, cute, blonde, all that stuff. I'm not gonna show her face because that's called doxing. But, you know, we I made this profile and we're just gonna have some fun with some guys. That's, that's pretty much it. My bio says, let's go boys. And I literally have over 100 matches. So, um, let's go. Okay, here's our next guy. Uh, before I read you any of his, whatever he sent me, uh, let's just look at his bio for a second. Yes. It may be true that I'm a tid old-fashioned, and I tend to have an irresistible urge to open the door for you. Although I promise I do enjoy a wonderful, relaxing night in as much as I do going out. I'm looking for something serious. Someone who's always down for that spark of adventure. Cause that's what- Ah. Cause that- God! Cause life is about living it for what it is. Creating memories so when we get old, we can make fun of each other on the porch. My sign is Aries. His sign is Aries, you guys. I, that's a really important thing, so I'm glad he put that in there. I, I love that. A tid old-fashioned. Just a tid. That's a normal word to use, right? A tid. Ah, just, I'm just a tid hungry right now. Just a tid. I could go for a titty. A tid. I'm a tid titty. So he messaged me first and he said, So let's cut to the chase. I need an accomplice to ransack a grocery store so we can have a bad movie night. Are you in? Wow, that's so unique and clever. He wants to have a movie night? Wow, that's amazing. That's, wow. I, I would love to have a movie night with this man that I've never met before in my life. I just think that would be great. Cause he seems so quirky and relatable. I, oh wow. Let me reply to this guy. My husband is dead. dead, dead, dead. I don't want to remarry. I just want sex. sex, 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 sex. See my and then I sent him a link to a Google search for Bush's baked beans. Um, I just wanted to have one of those, one of the links like in Botter Thought where, you know, like the fake profile send you a link to something bad. Um, and he didn't really reply after that. He sent me some, some reaction gifts, like a minion. Whoa, he's saying, what? Oh, that's, that's so hilarious, man. I mean, if this guy loves minion memes, then it really isn't gonna work out, is it? Next guy. Okay, so I had like a hundred matches on here, right? I have well over that by now. I, I had so many guys message me first, but do you know how many like haze I got? How many just like boring openers? Like that, that are just like, hey, hi, hi Jamie, how are you? What's up? I got so many of these and they just, that's it. That's all they send me. And how am I supposed to work with that? You know how many haze I got? I just replied, hey, cause I, what do you want from me, dude? I gotta, I'm trying to, you gotta give me something. You just can't have hay. Hey, are you a magician? Because whenever I look at you, everyone else disappears. Oh, wow, damn. God, that was cool. You know what? That was such a cool pickup line. I would love to spread my legs for you, sir. Would you like that? I, I just, I, I can't help it when a man uses a bad pickup line on me. I'm sorry, that was super cheesy AF, but I couldn't think of a better opening. It's okay, cutie. <laughs> I'm actually a magician. I'm in college for it right now. Next semester, I take levitation theory too. I'm super excited. <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've heard all week. <laughs> Um, why are you laughing? I'm serious. I've wanted to be a magician since I was four when my magician father passed away from a botched water torture trick. Since then, I've won seven talent shows and can pull a rabbit out of my <laughs> Are you seriously laughing at my life's work? <laughs> I wanted to see if he would hold his ground to me calling myself a magician and he sort of 
didn't. No, I legitimately thought that was cool. I was just using that emoji. I wouldn't laugh at you for something like that. It's honestly impressive. First of all, I can pull a whole rabbit out of my butt, but what's more impressive is that I get it in there to begin with. I'm deeply sorry if I offended you. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can be with someone who doesn't respect my work. And that's the last time he replied, so... This magician is still looking for love, you guys. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. So I matched with this guy. He's like some exchange student from the from the university nearby. Um, and he, he had his Instagram on his Tinder. You know how you can have it at the bottom? But he had zero pictures in it. There was just nothing. It was like, oh, here's my Instagram. That's devoid of life. So I, I wanted to talk about it. So I said, hello. Or he said, hello. And I said, I like your Instagram. Very cool. TX, I didn't post any photo yet. Yeah, I know. What are you doing for fun? Well, I like to sing, dance, and eat my own toenails. You? Going out to eat something such as taco. I like taco. Oh, you like it? I like taco house near my house called <laughs> tacos. I do like it. Sounds good. What do you do during weekend? Eat my toenails. And he didn't really reply after that. I, t yeah, I wanted toenails on my taco. I was just sharing my interests. Like he asked me. Hi. Hi. How are you? Kind of sad. My pet chinchilla just died. Mm. Dang, that sucks. Age or sudden? I think I fed him to death. We He wanted some pepperoni slices, so I just left the whole bag in his cage. I came back an hour later and the bag was empty and he was doubled in size. R.I.P. Big Mike. <laughs> R.I.P. man, I love that guy. Wow. Oh, yo, you're wowing me. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. He was like a father to me. He actually raised me after finding me at the orphanage when I was nine. He always made sure I got to school on time, and always kept a roof over our heads. Even through the recession. We never had a lot, but we always had enough. He taught me right from wrong, how to drive a stick, and how delicious pepperoni slices were. He will be missed. I'm sorry. So I had it in my bio, show me what you got, right? And this guy said, how about we mix things up a little bit and you show me what you got? So I said, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> and that's it, that's the whole conversation. Uh, actually, dang, let me try this again. Okay, so it's a Saturday afternoon. What would be an ideal way for Jamie to spend the day? Well, first I'd wake up at 2 p.m. after staying up practicing jutsu all night, then I'd put on my headband, walk into my backyard, and practice some more jutsu. Right now I'm working on awakening my Sharingan. I can build up my chakra enough for a Chidori, but it's really hard. That sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> I have pretty much no knowledge on what I'm assuming is a form of meditation, lol. What do you do to awaken your Sharingan? Well, to awaken my Sharingan, I have to put myself under extreme pressure. So I like to walk into a fast food place and order before I know what I want. That usually gets my blood pumping. There's also some feral dogs near my house, so I'll usually run past their hideout so that they chase me. They've gotten close to me, but so far they've only taken my shoes and a toe ring. Damn, that's pretty insane that they got your toe ring. Bet that was a very traumatizing experience for you. Would you recommend Naruto? I'm not the biggest fan of animes, but there are some good ones out there. What's Naruto? <laughs> it's some Japanese anime that's pretty big. I've never seen it, but I've heard a lot about it. When I googled Sharingan, Naruto seemed to be the number one thing that popped up, lol. What's your favorite fast food place when you're trying to get the blood pumping? Um, no thanks. I'm not telling you any about that. No, 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 no. If you don't know what Naruto is, then I guess this isn't gonna work. Oh well, sucks for you. So, I guess that's it for this video. Um, did I get discovered? Did my cover get blown? Nope. Uh, some of these guys were just, uh, dense as a rock, uh, but, you know, we had some fun, we had some good times, didn't we? I feel like this was a bonding experience. That's it for me, thank you for watching, um, goodbye. Jamie! Hi, Jamie!
Hi, wow, oh, you're, you're gorgeous. You're so beautiful, Jamie. Oh, what are you doing? How, how are you? How was your day? Wow, you're so, you're pretty. You're, you're, hey, gorgeous. Hey, beautiful. Happy Tuesday.